Pop chips, delicious alternative to fried potato chips. So these claim to be healthier, but are they? Let's take a look at the ingredients. The main ingredient, dried potatoes, is just a harmless starch. Rice flour is an inconsequential carbohydrate, unless you're allergic to grains. And sunflower oil is higher in polyunsaturated fats, which are good for you, and very low in the bad saturated fats. And its accomplice, safflower oil, is also full of these good fats. Now that we've talked about the potato, let's chat about the flavor. What's in the seasoning, you guys? Salt is an essential part of any chips, and these chips only have about 270 milligrams for about 20 whole chips. That's a very small fraction compared to the daily allowance of 2300 milligrams. And with less than 1% of your daily allowance of cane sugar, you can pay this no mind either. Autolyzed yeast is perfectly healthy, but should be avoided in those that are gluten intolerant. For the rest of us, it's an excellent source of vitamin B. And for those who don't have digestive issues associated with dairy products, whey powder is healthy. The starch tapioca malodextrin, used as a thickening agent in chips, are regarded as safe by the U.S. Drug and Food Administration. And the tomato, garlic, and onion powders are made from the dehydrated veggies written in their name. It's simple and safe to eat. Toriola yeast comes from fungi and adds a smoky, meaty, umami flavor to the chips. Citric acid, described as natural flavors, are likely extracted from corn or lemons. So these chips are healthy. I'm going to continue to enjoy them.